Hey, what's up? It's Raven, another Marvel Snap video. Uh, for the next 24 hours now, because it was 48, the featured location was Rickety Bridge. Uh, after each turn, if there is more than one card here, destroy them. And that means if it's on your side, if it's on their side, it doesn't matter. It's going down. Uh, put a deck together um, for this one, and let's uh, check that out. Uh, we're calling this one Jiminy Ricket. My first look. And all right, so here we go. Deadpool. Obviously, when he's destroyed, he go he goes back to your hand with double the power. I mean, you could just keep putting him there. It's not altar of death, but um, you know, it still works out. You can get. I think I got him up to sixteen one time. So uh, armor. Okay, so this is part of a combo that I have. I'll talk about it in a minute. But armor. If you don't want to, if you don't want to deal with the location, just armor it. No big deal. Uh, Colossus, two cost MVP. This guy won me so many games because he cannot be destroyed. So you just play him at the bridge and then you combo him with Mr. Fantastic and you have five power, sometimes six power, you know, depending on, uh, uh, you know, other locations. And I don't want to say it's a guaranteed win, but it's 99% chance you're going to win that location. Uh, Electro, another guy, throw him on the bridge, destroy him, then, but you still get his max energy uh, on reveal ability. Uh, totally clutch, you can play, you know, uh, your high cost cards a turn earlier. Um, definitely worth it, and you can just get rid of the guy. There he is, Mr. Fantastic, play him, uh, you know, on <clears throat> either side of the bridge uh, for that two power. Um, and then you couple him with... Uh, Colossus to get uh you know to get more power so he gives you two then Colossus has three so I'll give you five uh so you're starting with five power at this uh location uh within three turns uh Polaris she moves one or two cost cards to this location um if you can afford to lose her you drop her at the bridge you move one of their uh, cards over to destroy it or you play her on a uh Location to move one of their cards over. Uh, we got Enchantress. Okay, Enchantress is very um, important to another combo, which I was going into. So you will see in um, this location where you could armor it. You armor it, you fill it up, and then they let them fill it up. And then you Enchantress it, and <laughs> the armor goes away. And all their cards are destroyed. Uh, if you can get this combo to work, kudos to you. Uh, not saying that it won't work, but uh, I've, I've had it to work, and it's actually really funny. Uh, Jessica Jones. So you, with, a car, with a location where um, you're not playing, makes it tough to uh, drop a card where you can't play there again. So, But Jessica Jones, 8 power. I mean, this is a great card. Uh, Namor. Plus five power if you're the only card here. Uh, my philosophy on this location is to try to play in the location and then play in another location and leave one location empty. This is where you drop this guy. Uh, Claw. You play him on either side of the bridge. Uh, well, actually, I guess you have to play him to the left of the bridge. And he'll drop six power, uh, on the bridge. With Colossus, with um, Mr. Fantastic, and you have a ton of power there. That's pretty much almost a guaranteed uh, win in that location. Uh, Dr. Octopus, another part of my, uh, another combo that I have for this deck. Uh, you want to see a guy cry, a grown man cry? Drop Dr. Octopus on, a <laughs> on the rickety bridge. He'll throw four cards into that location and destroy them all. Now, what you have to worry about is... If they have some sort of combo brewing where, I don't know, let's say they drop uh, White Tiger um, and Odin, you're still going to get the White Tiger, uh, you know, two White Tigers over. But this this card costs a lot of retreats uh, when, when you, you pretty much uh, ruin their whole deck by having them all destroyed. And then Magneto, same thing. If you can afford to uh, lose him, you can take all three and four costs, and throw them over to the bridge, destroy them all, and maybe win another location. 
or uh, same thing with Dr. Octopus, you can play them for high power in a location that's full. Uh, so anyway, so now I think I'm going to get into the fact that, you know, I have a lot of ways to win here, okay? You can use the bridge. You can use your Deadpool, keep destroying it over and over and over. Use your Electro to get extra um, energy, okay? Use your Mr. Fantastic comboed with Colossus. You can use the armor uh, comboed with Enchantress. And then you can use here Dr. Octopus or and or, well, and or Magneto to destroy cards at the bridge uh, endgame. Uh, so yeah, let's check out how some of these combos might work. Uh, to, let's see uh, you know, how many people we can get to retreat. Let's see how many people we can actually beat. Now, obviously, uh, you know, uh, this deck is not foolproof. Um, and you know, it's, it's going to lose a couple games. And I'll tell you exactly why. Because... You know, the, the, the location says 40% of your games will have this location. You know what? I have it like four times in a row, and then I won't have it for 10. So you're trying to, you know, put a deck together for a specific location that never shows up. Um, you know, this is RNG for you. Then the location will show up, and you're all set for, you know, one of the three or maybe four combos that I put together in this deck, and you never get the right draws. So... You know, I, I think a couple, you know, I, I watched a couple guys, um, uh, I watched Molt, and he said probably one of the best things where you never draw the card you want or you need for a combo, not never, but you know what I mean, uh, when you need it. Like specifically when you have, let's say you're playing Wong, and you have Ironheart, and you have White Tiger, and you're all set, and you're like, you just need that Odin. Odin never comes. But for the opponent, Odin's always there. He's always, you know, he never lets the opponent down. And it's so true sometimes. You know, you have this perfect combo set up and you're like, all right, all I need is this. All right, I'll skip this turn. I'll wait for this. And it never happens. But meanwhile, the opponent's doing, you know, 36 uh, hit combos on you. It's crazy. Anyway, enough of me bullshitting. Uh, let's get into some games. All right, there's the rickety bridge. All right, so we, we want to find Electro and get him out as soon as possible. And he retreated already. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna retreat, just just play Armor or Scarlet Witch. But come on, man. I mean, it's in forty percent of your games. You're gonna retreat every freaking time. Whatever. All right, super flow, nice. Starting off with that, that's gonna help. Uh, we were gonna skip this turn. Okay, they skipped as well. Uh, we got the rickety bridge where we will drop Wolverine. Uh, I didn't wanna do that. Oh, he stormed it. Okay. Thank you. On reveal effects do not happen at this location. Ooh. All right, we'll drop Polaris. Hopefully that's enough. Moon girl, nice. All right, so that's settled. So we're gonna ruin, we're gonna screw him up by dropping Doctor Octopus over here. Alright, so I pull four cards. Arnim Zola, Black Panther, Cable, 
and Black Panther again. Okay, so now I just got to worry about... Um, so... Let's turn five. We can play... Let's, let's try something crazy. Let's drop Goose there. Oh, he's an on reveal, right? No, he's ongoing. Oh, he dropped the card there. Collector. Okay, now... We drop... Magneto over here. Dropped Agent 13. That's fine. We don't pull anybody over, and we get the win. That was, uh, I'm not going to lie, that was, uh, uh, <laughs> that was a skin on my teeth, but, um, wow, that was close. That was a close one. Uh, I pulled that one out of, uh, nowhere. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Let's keep going. All right, we're uh, drawing all high-end cards, and there's the bridge. So we're looking for Electro. We're looking for Colossus. He drops Ant-Man. I mean, you're not you're not getting four cards there, buddy. Mojo. Whoever has the more cards here has a hundred. All right, so we'll drop Deadpool. Oh, he dropped armor. Oh man, do I have do I <laughs> do I have? A joke for this guy at Wakanda Embassy. Okay. So we're going to drop Colossus. Go ahead, fill it up, bro. This is going to be funny. <laughs> he zaboos. Um, let's see. So we'll drop... Give it plus two power. All right, so we're going to drop Jessica Jones in the middle. He drops Captain America, he drops Sunspot, and watch this. We will drop Enchantress right on his armor. All right, he filled it up, he white tigered, and that's nice. And goodbye armor, goodbye Ant-Man. Goodbye, Captain America. Goodbye, Deadpool. <laughs> and goodbye, White Tiger. And goodbye... Oh, wait, why did my Colossus... Oh, my Colossus died too. All right, that's fine. Uh, all right, so now I got to worry about moving... Let's see. So I think we... This is the final turn. Um, uh, actually, hold on. If we drop... Polaris... And Mr. Fantastic, that should be good. Oh, we Odin'd. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, so that should give me two locations... And the W. Oh, man. I should have dropped the Polaris before the Colossus, but still, I love that. That's a great move. Uh, you want to talk good combos, let them drop armor, or you drop armor, because obviously I have it in my deck here. You let them fill it up, and then you drop Enchantress, and, uh, you know, hopefully you have um, some power there with either Mr. Fantastic or Colossus, and uh, you steal cubes this way. All right, uh, Necrotia, it's not a good location. 
And he's going to drop Ant-Man there already. Uh, uh, we got Jotunheim. Another bad location. <laughs> and the last one is the Rickety Bridge. Okay, so already we will drop Mr. Fantastic. Waiting. A lot of lot of bad locations here. Uh, I saw somebody today. Uh, I don't want to say complain, but complain, and they have every right to. Is there's too many negative locations, and while I agree that you know there, there's a uh, time and a place. Um, the fact that there's so many negative locations all at the same time is really uh, annoying sometimes. I mean, the bridge is, you know, it is what it is. It, um, you know, it's a featured location, but then you have, you know, Jotunheim, lose one power, Necrotia, minus two power. So, he shang cheese over there. That was weird. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Dr. Octopus. I'm going to pull all his cards out. Ronin. I don't know what that does. Magneto. Ooh. Sunspot, Okoye, and pretty much... Oh, thank you for magic. That's going to destroy everybody. Now, the only problem here is I lost my Mr. Fantastic. And I also lost, lost the two power that I had there. Okay, so it's turn six already. Um, I can drop Jessica, Jessica Jones in the middle. And... Deadpool here. All right, so he's going to Kazar. It's fine. Deadpool gets destroyed. Deadpool didn't get destroyed. Oh, there's nobody there. All right, okay. Um, let's see. So, Jessica Jones is going to get eight. He retreated. So what I was thinking of doing is either using Polaris to move, that wouldn't have worked. Uh, Magneto would have only, actually I could have Magnetoed the rickety bridge and brought Kazar over uh, and destroyed everybody and I would have won. Or I mean I won anyway, but that was the plan. Um, I also could have, but see even if I clawed the middle and got six, uh, you know, six power at the bridge, he could have played the middle and still beat me. So, um, you know, you got to have a plan with these things. And um, I was thinking, and he retreated before I uh, figured it out. All right. Let's see. All right. So not great draws. And there's bar with no name. Yuck. This guy snaps right away. And then it's going to take an hour to play anything. Oh, he skipped. All right. Uh, what do we got here? The Rickety Bridge. There it is. Okay. Do I have Enchantress? No, but we will play Colossus. Westview turns into a new location. We will drop uh, Mr. Fantastic. And it's Nidlevir. Nidlevir. Yeah, that's probably right. Uh, is this guy going to play anything? We'll drop Jessica. Mm, do we want to drop Jessica Jones? Yeah, we do.
All right, so he's going to drop, let's see, he drops a Colossus also. All right, and zero. Uh, all right, so we do, we'll drop Deadpool. Um, watch this. Red Skull, nice. Now, why didn't she pull over? Uh... Okay, he can't be moved, right? No. Oh, he can't be moved. All right. That was my bad on that. Um... I mean, he's got 28. Magneto for the win. Abomination. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's going to go to me. 43. Nice. Mr. Fantastic coming in clutch with the uh, rickety bi uh, bridge play. And Colossus, I didn't realize that I couldn't move him, which kind of stunk. But whatever. Polaris still gave me 10 power there. I'm okay with that. All right, next one. Gabonkius. All right. Uh, the negative zone. He's got Mantis. Superflow. All right. That's good. I'll take that. Um, nothing I want to play yet. Scarlet Witch. All right. Thank you for that. I'll take that. Starlight Citadel. Ooh, swap position of each location. And there's the bridge. Uh, all right, this is going to be a problem. Um, is there anything I can play? All right, what I... Oh, man, this is going to be tough. All right, so I'm going to play Mr. Fantastic on the Super Flow. And hopefully... The bridge doesn't uh, end up in the middle. Um, I could armor this. I have four. Uh, this is turn four, so I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Let's skip turn four. This is gonna. This is an odd game here. He's got a Medusa. All right, so the bridge ended up over there. He's going to kill both of those. I still have Super Flow active. Uh, but I don't have Colossus. There he is. Okay. And it's turn five already. So, yeah, we will... We'll drop Jessica Jones. All right, he's he's going hard in the middle there, for some reason. We Doctor Doom, that's nice. Oh, it destroyed. Wow. Okay. Uh, so this is the final turn now. Do I? Hmm. Magneto's not gonna pull anybody over. Polaris will, but I don't think that's helping me. So if I drop 12, 13 here, is that enough? He just needs 7. Let's see what happens. It gives me 12, it gives me 13, and he Odined. He's going to drop the uh, Dr. Doom bots again. All right, he's got the middle locked down. Doombot is going to get destroyed, and he's going to lose. And I didn't. I forgot to snap. All right, so there you go. There is the deck. Um, this is a very cerebral deck. Um, you know, I say this a million times. Um, you can't just play. It's it's very. Uh, there's a lot of strategy to this location, but if the uh, what happens is. 
if you don't get the right draws, listen, RNG, we all know it's a thing, and I've lost a lot of games to RNG, either not getting the location or getting the location and not the cards I need, and vice versa. Um, this deck is cool. Um, it definitely wins more than, you know, more times than it loses, but, you know, a lot of things have to happen. So I, you know, I wouldn't suggest you play this deck uh, regularly. Uh, you know, for the next 48 hours, or I guess 24 hours by the time you uh, see this video, uh, it's definitely worth it. Um, it's weird because I, I went on a, a lot of runs with this where I was just winning like game after game after game after game. And then I put the game down and I would lose game after game. After game. It was crazy. And then I would go right back to winning. So right now I literally, I don't know, I rattled off probably like seven or eight games in a row that I won a uh, couple of retreats in there um you just really you know you have to outplay your opponent not only do you have to outplay but you have to outthink them you don't know what they have uh but you have to come up with a counter so you know my my goal with this was to use Polaris use Magneto use Dr. Octopus to throw them off the game move their cards over to the bridge destroy them and either watch them retreat or try or have them try to work around it. Um, no one really did that to me. Um, maybe one game, I think, but I, it doesn't matter because I still won. Um, the other thing was uh, we only got to see it once. Uh, you drop armor there, and then you drop enchantress once they fill it up. That was pretty funny. But uh, anyway, so there's the deck. Uh, we got a couple more hours, uh, another day of this at least. And then uh, I will go back to, you know, playing a new deck. Uh, I just unlocked Cerebro for the first time. Omega Red for the first time. Well, obviously for the first time. Um, I don't know. I'm not familiar with either one of those deck-wise. Uh, I know this uh, Cerebro deck, um, what do you call it, exists. Uh, maybe I'll look into that. But until then, please... Uh, subscribe to my channel like this video leave a comment and i will see you in the next one thank you